How's it going everyone? It's Sam. There's some interesting things happening behind the scenes and a lot of people don't know about it. But I've talked to a lot of other YouTubers, other Twitter page owners, uh, a lot of marketing department soon. It's something that I, I think you need to know. And it's something I want to give you as a, as a great viewer of this channel. Something that's happening in crypto and it can change maybe how you want to invest moving forward. I think uh, some of the people that I know behind the scenes are getting very excited at what they're seeing. So I want to talk about that. Also, talk about the market a little bit because it's looking really good. If you don't mind, hit subscribe, turn that bell notification underneath the video. While you're down there, there's a link to Marjex and to Blowfin. I won't spend much time on it, but there's no KYC. There's no VPN. If you want to trade crypto, these are the places to do it. Now, as you can see, this is actually powered by... Uh, by trading view we have been rejected right around 42,300 to 40 uh, or 44,300 to 44,700 several several times so it looks like bitcoin really wants to break out the market is looking pretty good like we have a lot of cryptos that are running right now i mean one specifically that a lot of people are watching is solana solana continues to rally up just parabolically it seems like uh, up 10x from the bottom about a year ago so it's doing fantastic uh, we know that a couple well really all the etf companies continue to meet with the sec yesterday i was talking about blackrock and grayscale like they were the same company for some reason um, but grayscale is talking about moving over their gbtc to a spot ETF. They're talking about that with the SEC right now. BlackRock's talking about starting their ETF. They're working out the final uh, aspects of it. And day after day, we continue to see more news, more meetings that they've set together. I mean, they've got to be close to 30 meetings now. They continue to meet and to finalize uh, what they're going to do together, how they want the ETF set up. So I know it seems like I continue to say this day after day that some asset manager with, with the SEC, but these are all new. Like every single time I mention it, it's new. We know that there's marketing dollars being thrown towards the ETFs already. This is a little bit of why I want to talk to you about the behind the scenes secret info, but we already know Bitwise is doing this. There was another company yesterday uh, that their name's eluding me, but they talked about their new ad or they showed their new ad and they're like good ads so far. They're interesting. They have spent some money on them already, even though the ETF isn't approved. We know that the demand is high too for some of these ETFs and for some of these crypto assets like GSOL, which is Grayscale Solana Trust or Solana um, Exposure, I should say. They trade for like a thousand percent premium. So people are paying way more than what they actually get out of it. That just shows you like how crazy the demand is. I mean, last time I looked too, the miners were flying CLSK up another 6.3% today. Look at the one month, 146%. The six months, 133. The year, 455%. Like all these cryptos are going nuts. And I know I've talked about some of this in the past, so I don't want to reiterate it too much. But what I want to talk about next is what's happening behind the scenes. This is some alpha for you that other people might not give, but I feel like I should because I want you guys to have the best information going forward. I've talked to several different exchanges, some of the largest in the US, some of the largest internationally, and all of them are increasing their marketing budget. I can't talk about the ones specifically that I've talked to, but all of them are reaching out to people trying to get them to advertise they're building new products even or even their old products. They want to throw marketing dollars out there. They realize that the market's turning around. And from what I can see too, a lot of these exchanges that were just kind of chugging along during the bear market are starting to make a lot of money. So they're now pushing to make more marketing. Now, a lot of influencers see that. And you know what that means? A lot of people are going to come into crypto. We've seen on Twitter a lot of meme coins recently. If you follow a lot of crypto people from Kak Inu, which sounds crazy, I know, but it's a thing. It's multi-hundred million dollar market cap um, to a bunch of other cryptocurrencies. Dog coin, uh, D-A-W-G, like a bunch of different cryptos now blowing up. And whether you like it or not, 
that tells us some information. Um, a lot of people are looking to buy those cheap meme coins that are under a million dollar market cap or ten million dollar. They're getting some people are getting a little bit greedy. They're thinking, why would I invest in Bitcoin when I can get a 10x in some meme coin? A lot of influencers are trying to get allocation now. A lot of people, when they were working with companies during the bear market, they wanted to get paid like in USDC or USDT. Now they want crypto allocation. They want to get in on projects. There are a lot of new projects that are coming out as well that have been just waiting to drop their coin or to have their token generation event. And a lot of people are investing in them. Like I have seen some of the offers that they've been giving out. Um, there are some, some of them are lofty valuations, like hundreds of millions of dollars that are coming to the market. Um, some are small, but what's more important to me is there are big names investing in these cryptocurrencies. Now, why do I tell you all this? Because it's not like a lot of people can go invest in these early stage projects like seed rounds, that kind of thing. The reason I tell you this is because it tells us where we're at in the market. People that are most in the know about crypto, exchanges, influencers, um, people that work at these crypto companies, they want to spend money. They want to invest. They want to buy. They realize what's happening. Some of them probably even know what's happening with the SEC and BlackRock. And there are a lot of connections people have in this industry to traditional, uh, traditional players. They're all spending. I haven't seen an unlock like this. Even some of them that aren't spending right now, they're saying that we are testing it because we are going to dump a lot of money into marketing soon. So this is alpha that you should know. It probably something that you should take into account. Like if you've been wondering, uh, you know, is is now the best time to buy? I'm not telling you when to buy, but just get ready because the new year, there's going to be new marketing budgets. There's going to be new thought processes in general. Like I've already changed my thinking a little bit. Like I am turning more degen and not because I'm trying to be greedy, but because I realize there's greed in the market. So while I care about tokenomics, that's not necessarily the most important thing in a bull market. It's something that I'm always going to pay attention to. But if a token dilutes 3% versus 6% every single year, it really doesn't matter in the one year span or two, the two year bull market, right? Like it matters how many people are going to come into it. It matters what kind of uh, product they have or how good the meme is or something like that. Like I personally am investing, getting ready to invest more money. And I've already done this. Um, you can see in the Patreon, but I'm already investing more money into higher risk cryptocurrencies. Now keep in mind, I'm still adding to my Bitcoin stack. I'm taking a lot of payments in Bitcoin, but I'm still getting ready for this bull season, this bull run, and I'm trying to invest in lower cap cryptos. Now, if you like this kind of thing, let me know in the comments. I, I like making videos like this every once in a while, like after events, I've done this before where I talk about some of the stuff that's happening behind the scenes. We're actually getting ready to make this something that happens more often. HG access is something that I've teased a little bit on Twitter. It's going to be a, it, I can't talk about it too much, but it's going to be a really interesting thing where myself and about 10 other influencers are going to be giving alpha similar to this, but maybe a little bit more specific even um, on a weekly basis. It's not ready yet, so I can't give you a link to get more information or to go sign up or anything like that yet. Just be on the lookout because I will talk about it probably in the next two weeks, probably right around the beginning of the year, maybe even before uh, talking about what that will be and giving you some more alpha like this. Now, let me know your thoughts on all this underneath the video. Again, if you want to just stick with Bitcoin, have at it. Bitcoin's going to probably two, three, four, five X in the next couple of years. If you just want to invest in Bitcoin, I totally get it. The majority of my crypto is still in Bitcoin, but I want to make some of those investments because I think they're at a good risk to reward ratio right now where people will want to invest in smaller cryptos in this next bull run. Like everyone is already starting to, but we are just seeing that from the people that are already in crypto. And we know that there are going to be hundreds, hundreds of thousands, millions, tens of millions, probably closer to the millions to tens of millions of people coming into crypto very soon. And while a lot of them will be buying through Grayscale, through BlackRock, that will pump the bags of people that have native 
Bitcoin on the Bitcoin network or Ethereum, that kind of stuff. And then they'll probably take those profits and maybe they'll try to invest into some, some smaller cryptos. And we know when people make a lot of money, they want to move down the line and invest in higher risk, higher potential cryptos. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Thank you so much. Check out the links to Margex and to Blowfin underneath the video. They're both either running or about to run some trading competitions where you don't have to do anything. Just start trading, deposit, get used to the platform. Um, also, we can add certain cryptos there. So if there's one that you really want that's not added there, like do some trading on it. And we're actually setting up a page here soon so that you can go and request cryptos with us. Uh, when I say us, myself and a couple other influencers, and then we'll bring it if there's enough if there are enough people, we'll bring it to the partnership side. We'll talk to some of our marketing partners and then they can add it. Like recently we added Caspa to Marjax. Let me know your thoughts though on that too. Uh, let me know your thoughts on everything. I'm just asking for you to tell me everything you're questioning uh, down in the comment section. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. I'll see you in the next video.